What's going on, y'all? This is AMR, and I was going to do this uh, video in regards as to talking about uh, an iconic figure who rarely gets talked about in the sense of when it comes to accolades, especially in a sport such as baseball. But the guy that you see on the screen now, who do you, I want you to know or want you to say to yourself or ask, well, you may not know who, who that is, but what if I told you that guy by the name of Paul Santel is actually the first person of color or MLS man who started playing in the major leagues, major league baseball first. Now, of course, you're going to have those that's going to say, oh, it was Jackie Wilson. Yeah, of course, because there's evidence, there's, you know, footage and all that. Things that you see that makes it legit. Now, Jackie Robinson, yes, is very, you know, his career and things like that is very legit. But he's not centered right now. Who really should be centered is Paul Santel. As why I'm doing this uh, video. Now. He played for two seasons. For the Philadelphia Phillies. And. You know. Some people may not like Philadelphia. But hey. Philly. Hey. They. Hey. They, they're not. Hey. There are no slouches at all. But. While he was playing. He played in three different positions, such as second baseman, third, third base, and shortstop. And not only that, he was also a manager as well as an umpire. Now, I want you to think about that, what I just said, and then ask yourself, okay, we have a way of being active as well as being passive. But the thing is, people believe, you know, again, you being active will get you noticed. I mean, it can get you noticed, but at the same time, it can only... You know, you can only do things for so long to where your body will start to wear out on you. And now Paul Santel was not necessarily a bad player. Despite him playing two seasons and despite him being the first MLS man, person of color, to play in the major leagues. Oh, and guess what? He also happened to be Creole. <laughs> but other than that, um, I just thought, you know, again, I myself ought to really go ahead and explain that, you know, certain, like I said, certain things just out in history is never really talked about. And especially figures like this, just because you didn't, it's like people have this mindset, oh, well, just because they didn't see something or someone do that, then it doesn't exist. But the accolades is still there. Archives is still there. So they made history. They're not, they're not, again, they're not alive to tell their story. And from my understanding, uh, from a website that I did look at, he still has a descendant of his family that's, Still alive, I believe. And if they want to come out, talk about it, they can. But most importantly, we also have to look at it and view it from the standpoint of. Because I was really very, you know, hesitant on even showing. Sh showing him. Like that, because you, it's already bad enough that we got this whole 
um, race swapping or fi iconic figures being played by somebody that necessarily don't look like them is bad enough in that sense. But then, because again, Hollywood has pretty much, you know, adopt, has, ha either has or adopted the, uh, well, you know, power in the wrong hands can be very deadly instead of with greater power comes greater responsibility. That's what they don't. That's something that they won't acknowledge or they won't necessarily bat an eye. But I figured that, you know, for me, I take this time out to talk about it. And hopefully um, if, you know, again, anybody that wants to have this discussion, we can. But most importantly, you know, we've made history. You know, we have accomplishments that's rarely talked about. And if so, people want to distort, exaggerate, fabricate all kinds of history to make it seem like, oh, this actually happened because they came from a period to where they saw it versus other periods to where that wasn't necessarily in existence for them. And yes, his career started, like I said, with the two seasons. He's, yeah, made his debut in 1906, then his last season was 1907, whereas Jackie Robinson's was 1945. But that's pretty much it. I really ain't got much to say <laughs> right now, but I do want to. But I do want to say that, yes, I am going to be uh, putting out. Probably uh, a couple more things that's in the works. And I'm going to talk about, you know, uh, because, yes, I see where multi is and everybody else has done, you know, Creole, uh, Creole stuff. And I can honestly say, hey, at least I I'm happy that, you know, <laughs> they bring in the thunder right now. So I'll, I'm going to touch on you know, people Creole fishing because everybody talks about mixed fishing or biracial fishing and, and all that. You no know, shout outs to my, you no know, again, MLS mixed biracial folks. You know, y'all are loved by me. And I, I may end up doing a lot and I may end up doing a live. I don't know when, but when I do, Keep your, t keep your notification tabs on. So y'all won't miss it. All right, that's it. I'm out and I'll see y'all on the next one.